The events of yesterday cannot, cannot be equated to exercising constitutional right or freedom of uh, uh, movement or uh, information or uh, political rights as uh, purported by the perpetrators of this very heinous act. Yesterday we witnessed anarchy, we witnessed, witnessed pre-planned, well-organized and orchestrated attack on very uh, strategic infrastructure in our roads and our railway. If you see the manner in which the attacks were, were done, the people who came here were prepared. They came with equipment to be able to cut copper wires. Uh, they came also knowing where uh, and what they were going to target and where they will inflict the highest um, impact in terms of damage to the infrastructure. Uh, I want to uh, tell the nation that uh, from the Ministry of Roads and uh, Transport, uh, we are disappointed with the organizers of yesterday's uh, mass action as was announced and um, we have assessed the damage you know that the people who have been organizing this mass action have told the nation that they are doing so because they want to fight the cost of living but the damage only done on the expressway could be anything up to for that short, short period of time could be anything up to uh, five million dollars and if it reaches that level in one infrastructure, I'm not talking about the railway, the four railway stations. Then you know, under the agreement with the, uh, the Moji Express and the people who are running this infrastructure, it's the same taxpayer, we are being told that we want to reduce the cost of living, who within 28 days must pay uh, that money as a result of the lawlessness and the, uh, uh, the impact that has been caused by this uh, mass action.